Welcome to The Snap. This is a segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. On this week's episode of The Snap, we are gonna be discussing heating tips for your induction heater. Now, you may think it's just as simple as sticking it in and letting it warm up. It's a lot more complex than that. With a little bit of technique and finesse, you can get a whole lot more performance. For the first heating tip with your induction heater is the pulse method. Simply take your device, press down and let go. Press down and let go. What this is gonna do is allow for a very even roast of your material inside and allow the temperature to be a little bit higher. For you cloud chasers out there and want a little bit increased vapor production, try the quick back-to-back -back heating technique. Take your device, press it down, wait for the click, and when the click occurs, you draw. And now during this time, you would just be drawing the entire time. And then as soon as that cool down click occurs, you put the device back in your induction heater almost immediately after that cool down click. This will keep those temperatures high and your vapor production high as well. For the maximum amount of vapor production, the skipping a heat cycle technique is gonna be the best one for you. Take your device, pop it in your induction heater, press down, or you can combine it with the pulse method. Wait for the click. Set it down on your magnet on top of your induction heater and let the cool down and click occur again without inhaling. This is gonna help maintain that higher temperature. And when that cool down click occurs, you pop it right back in. Then you do your draw and you're gonna expel some awesome clouds. For this heating tip, I'm gonna be explaining how to preheat your coil using an induction heater for use with concentrates. First thing that you need to do is make sure that you have your DynaCoil installed and then apply your cap, put in your induction heater, Wait till the click. Once the click occurs, carefully remove the cap with your magnet. Your cap may need to be a little bit more loose to do this. At this point, you would apply your concentrate. This will help melt into all those perforations on that DynaCoil. And then when the cool down click occurs, you can simply just pop your cap back on, put it back in your induction heater, and that will allow you to not have any waste with your concentrates because it will all be melted in. And for those times where you accidentally applied a little bit too much concentrate to your DynaCoil, you can always tip it on your side. Take your device, tip over your induction heater, and press in at an angle. This will prevent the concentrate from leaking down into the top of your cap, thus creating a really nasty sticky mess. This will prevent that and allow you to use all that tasty concentrate. We hope you found these induction heater heating tips beneficial. We want to thank Trix and Derek from Fudo for your submissions and Chris for compiling them. And make sure you let us know what your favorite heating tip is in the comments below. And always remember, if you heat past the click, you do so at your own risk. And that has been The Snap. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos here and here and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for when we release more great content.